match. Um, today's match was a little unfortunate, but you know, everybody was expecting you to win, but the result was not. But was it any different to feel playing as a favorite than the underdog? No, I think, I mean, through rankings, I've probably been the favorite all week, but um, in my eyes, it certainly was a very even match, and Naomi played a great match, um, and especially in times when I was able to have my nose in front. Uh, she served great and came up with the good, so I think sometimes you really do, just do have to tip your hat to your opponent. Was it sort of a case of a few uh, very similar sort of style players, very aggressive hitters, that it sort of had a cumulative effect, do you think? No, I think, uh, I mean, I'm obviously very happy with my first couple of matches, and even tonight I don't think I did a hell of a lot wrong. Uh, I think if Naomi plays like that, she beats a lot of players, and um, I wasn't able to get into too many of her service games. I had had a sniff in a couple of games where I was able to get 15 30s and, and 30 all points, but um, you know she served great and played the big points. Played the big points well tonight. Do you think the way Naomi played today it's something you didn't expect, or or she played exactly what you were kind of expecting? Yeah, she, I think I think she just played a very good match. Uh, obviously, I knew I knew what to expect. I knew the type of game that she is, but um, you know it's. She served unbelievably well today uh, and was able to get control of the points pretty early. And I think that was something that I had to try and uh, sort of stop her doing, uh, but wasn't able to do so tonight. What's your assessment of the summer as a whole? Uh, ups and downs, I think. Um, I think as any professional athlete, you have, you can be on a massive high and it can all come down, crashing down in one day. And, and today, sort of, that was my day. It wasn't, wasn't a good day at the office for me, but um, we still had a pretty unbelievable summer. Maybe it's too early to talk about the goal, but uh, do you have any specific goals in uh, this season? Yeah, I think for me it's really about maintaining my spot in the top 20 uh, and solidifying my spot, continuing to play good tennis and, and do the right things on and off the court. Um, would love to make a second week of a slam. We're close uh, and we'll, we'll keep chipping away. What are your plans for the next couple of months? Oh, I think the next couple of months are busy. Obviously we have Fed Cup um, before moving through the Middle East um, through Indian Wells, Miami, and then Fed Cup again, and that's sort of a pretty standard schedule for, for most players. We've seen what the pressure can do to players. Now that the tournament's over, coming in as Australia's highest-ranked female player, can you sit back and say, it didn't bother you at all? It didn't bother me at all. Uh, I think, if anything, it made it my most enjoyable summer ever. Summer ever. Do you still follow cricket, or do you have any, any other sport that <laughs> you... really can ask <laughs> <laughs> Any other sport that you're interested in? Oh, of course I still follow cricket. I love it. Um, but I, I follow many sports. I'm a massive sport junkie. But um, no, I, I love it all.